The Hawaii Kai Restaurant and Lounge A fixture in Times Square for almost 40 years The Hawaii Kai, opened from the early 1950s to the late 80s was located at Broadway and 50th Street in the bowels of the Winter Garden Theater. It featured the Maluna Bar, the lounge of Seven Pleasures, where the Tahitian Aries played nightly. Have you ever been to the Waikai? Would you like to be, would you like to know what it was? This was a legendary establishment in New York. It was like, uh, a, a type of culture that's disappearing in New York. I'm going to try to explain to you. Imagine this, okay? For $11.95, you get four exotic hula dancers. Uh, what kind of beverage did you have? I believe I had a Mai Tai. You did have a, and how was it? Excellent. Excellent. Did you, were you ever here? Every New Year's Eve, and I mourn the place. I've never been honestly. there on New Year's Eve. I, I, you've got one on me there. Uh-huh. So, Fabulous. actually, did they put a reef on you when you went in? No. No, but uh -huh. I did see some grass skirts and um, who, who, Hawaiian tops. Uh huh. I never saw the review. So you didn't, you didn't sample the food. It's closed now, right? It's, clo it's closed well, now. Why are you it's... interviewing people after it's closed? Well, we're. I'm trying to uh, find the New York City uh, culture that is disappearing. Oh, this was it. Kind of bordering on trash culture. This, yeah, this, this, this is it. I mean, all they have now. I mean, you don't want to go to some yuppie were you you know, type at, place. Uh, I mean, I don't want to change the subject or anything, but were you ever at uh, Howard Johnson's? Yes, I'm planning to do another one right there. here, one right there. Now the there's one over one there. Left. Yeah, they have a great poster of the fried Ipswich clams. Excellent cocktails. The Hawaiian dining room, in fact, all the rooms were designed by Frederick Fox, who created scenic designs for Broadway plays from the 1930s to the 1960s. The lights, the cray paper, the cheap plastic lanterns all created this exotic environment. Excuse me, sir, can I talk to you about... In a rush, another New Yorker in a rush. Where'd you get that for members only jacket? Century 21 basement? I love insulting New Yorkers. Here, Jerry Rio, out on the street in the town I love, New York City. But for $11.95 you get the floor show. A complimentary Mai Tai or Contiki. With a lot of uh, glass decorations. A lot of glass decorations. Uh, a little parasol. If you're really drunk, you wear it on your head. Yeah. So you got the floor show, uh, the simulated rock, lava rock wall, the uh, lava, the uh, clamshell, lamp, uh, clamshell fountain over there. Yeah. And you see the simulated foliage over there. So I bet you wish you were a little bit older that you could have experienced this you know, part of American. Actually, I, I, so you used to work there too? I didn't. I was a fan of the place. I was here every New Year's Eve. You know, I, I love this type of Times Square that's disappearing. You know, my name is Jerry Rio. I'm the host of New York Underground, so a cable TV show. Uh -huh. So if you're lucky, you'll be on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. There was a volcano in here, and that's why they closed it down. They had a uh, cray paper volcano, but they didn't, it wasn't a real one. Oh. But it it there were problems with the fire code, but. Uh, you know, the plastic lanterns, the uh, exotic drinks, the... How many exotic drinks can you name? Mai Tai, only one. That's drink. only one? Yeah, but I'm not a big drinker. You're not a big drinker? Yeah, but they had, what, 115? Hundreds, hundreds. Uh, Pink Lady, Blue, Dolphin, you know, you name it, they had it. Well, well it's very nice talking yes, to you. Do uh, you live here in New York? I hope you, if you're trying to revive this kind of place, I hope maybe you should take it over. Should I'm trying to. Uh, would you be interested in investing, maybe? Or you, would you come here if I opened it? Actually, that would be probably very hip. Yeah, sure. It would be beyond hip. It would be serious. Yeah. It would be fresh. Check you out later, man. Ciao. Now let's go back in time as I read directly from the Hawaii Kai menu. 
The Hawaii Kai bids you aloha, noi aloha. A big welcome. Let us whisk you 5,000 miles away to a Polynesian world of romance and splendor. As you cross our threshold, you become part of the romantic Polynesian world, jealously guarded by tiki gods. Delight your senses with lyrical waterfalls and glorious lava rock gardens. Inspect our bamboo huts flown in from the distant islands. We sampled the food here though, the no, poo poo platter, the uh, sweet and sour pork. I'm sure the poo poo platter was very good. Uh huh. I, I never know. Did you see the pictures of, of the hula girls on the walls the, as you came the in? The plastic palm fronds. Plastic and palm, the yes, fountain. A wonderful, wonderful place. Very dark, cave like, very Hawaiian. Very Hawaiian. Very Hawaiian. This is a simulated rock wall. S simulated lava rock, yes. Simulated lava rock. Very, very popular in the very, late 19. You can see uh, the, uh, the uh, tropical lettering. Very, very nice. What uh, style of architecture would Actually, you call this? Did you get a shot of the, There's another sign yes, there, too. Yes, we, uh, we, we nice have that. Uh, I've been filming here before they put this gate up, uh, so I oh, was well, kind of doing a tribute yeah, to this. A friend of mine actually said, oh, let's go have a drink, and he took uh -huh. me here, and it was like, whoa, it was what a place. part of history. Uh, you know, yes. Not, they cannot recreate this. I wish I had seen the review, though. I mean, there are so many places like that. I'm glad you're doing a show. This is well, it's, very good. This is very insightful. I'm glad there are people that... Uh, and I would watch the show.